Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David Crosby. Do you ever wonder why you are still alive? I don't know. No idea, man. I'm 76 years old. I've had three heart attacks. I've got eight stents in my heart. I don't think people know how sick he really is. The last few years, I made four solo albums. I'm going for five. If I had ever been in before, I would I was not easy. Big ego, no brains. I don't think I was a good lover. I think I was selfish. If I had ever been in before, I have fallen in love with Christine. All of a sudden, she didn't come home. There's just this emptiness, this gone. You know, it's like a rip in the fabric. A friend of mine gave me a shot of heroin. Feels great. Only the first time. After that, you're just trying to catch it. And you never get back there. Ever. That's the house our house was written about, right there. That's where Crosby, Stills, and Nash sang her first song together. He became a fugitive from the law. I got a ride to the local FBI agency. He said, you're looking for me. My name's David Crosby. This is the first interview that we ever did. My father says money, glory, fame, chicks, none of it counts. The only thing counts is whether you got any friends. What happened to your friends? All the guys that I made music with won't even talk to me. All of them. You say stuff and do stuff that's just awful. Me more than anybody else. It's just sad, and I don't quite know how to undo it, you know. I'm touring because I love to sing. Green eyes. The hardest part is just leaving home. I don't like to leave home. I love, I love it here. I have to say, go honey, have fun, and I might not ever see him again. If I were to say, no music, but you get extreme joy in your home life, do you make that trade? No music? No, I'm not interested. It's the only thing I got to offer, really. We shall be free. This is really where I feel alive. Mm -hmm.